Okay, so for those of you out there looking to pass a GED, I'm going to give you some tips on how to improve in math fast, okay? So um, just so you know where I'm getting these tips is my background. I've been a math teacher for many, many years, <laughs> multiple decades. So when you see thousands and thousands and thousands of uh you know, math students do work, you, you pick up on trends of what, what people, um, you know, the habits of uh, success. And quite frankly, you don't have to be, you know, great at math to actually do well at it, if you know what I'm talking about. So let's say, you know, you think, well, I'm just not good at math. Well, you know, maybe it's not your best subject, but you could actually still, you know, uh, pass exams successfully. So I don't know if you understand how it works. It's just about being a good student. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get into uh, and some of these tips. So the first thing is you need to be neat, all right? You need to be neat. It, take a look at how you do math, all right? If you're, like, sloppy, and, of course, um, a lot of people are. I was once very sloppy all the way back in high school. It wasn't until um, I studied mathematics in college that I you know, really had to change that discipline. So if you're sloppy, okay, that's, that's a telltale sign that... Um, you're going, to, you're going to not do well in math, all right? So something you can do quickly, all right, to dramatically improve is to work on your neatness. And that's just a good thing um, anywhere. Now, what am I talking about? Try to structure your the way you write math kind of like in a nice and organized way, all right? And I'm going to show, actually, I'm going to get into this next tip, and then I'll get into what I'm going to say here. And this is show your work, all right? Show work, all right? So... For example, if I'm doing this problem, this basic equation, I need to be neat. I need to be able to see what's going on. And you're saying, well, you know, no, uh, you know, there's not going to be a teacher grading my GED exam. Yeah, that's that's true. Okay, but if you don't, if you sh like uh, shortcut this process, then you're you're really significantly increasing the chances that you're, you're going to. Uh, uh, get the, you're not going to be able to find the answer. You're not going to be able to, uh, you know, give yourself great odds at, at getting the answer correct. All right. So here, I'm, um, you know, right and neat. I'm structured, and I'm going to be doing the steps here. So the first thing is, oh, I got to do the distributive property. Okay, and I'm looking, and then oh, I got to subtract two from both sides of the equation, and I'm just kind of we got to erase this here. I'm working the problem down, nice and neat. Now, if you notice. Let me just actually finish the problem, divide both sides by 2, x equals 4. Okay, now, I've been doing this for a long, long time. So I made it, I, I've kind of obviously made it look a little bit easy, because this, this is my specialty, right? Uh, but you can learn this as well, right? It's a repeatable process. Now, I uh, wrote all the steps here necessary to get this problem correctly, uh, cor correct, and I didn't, it didn't take me forever to do this. Okay, it was quick because I'm following a kind of a procedure, right? When you show your work, all right, you're effectively following the procedure, okay? And the only way to really follow these steps to see what you're doing is to be neat, right? So the first thing is, um, if you're having a tough time in math, is to, is to kind of, you know, give yourself a quick critique. Hey, um, can I be a neater? Do I write math very sloppy? Do I write kind of scrunchy? You know, uh, can if I gave my work to somebody else, could they read what's going on? So this is a, a significant um, thing that you can do to improve uh, in math quickly because it's going to sh uh, also show you, do I even know the process, All right? So that's the third thing here, okay, is your uh, process. So if you don't know what you're doing, okay, in a problem, Listen, it's not the end of the world, but you don't guess. That's the big thing I would say. Like, if you don't know the process, don't try to like make up like what you think might be, because that, that's going to be instilling um, uh, bad habits. You, when you actually practice the math the wrong way, uh, you, you, for some, you know, we kind of like ingrain a, by a wrong method into your head, and you can actually. Um, I think you're correct and go in and, and, and do this wrong process, okay? So you're better off just saying, okay, you know what? I don't know how to do this problem. To so take things one problem at a time and look to see how, you know, find out how do I do this particular problem, okay? Now, one trick you can do to improve in math quickly 
is <clears throat> is to try to copy the um, uh, the process of another teacher, like a teacher showing you. Like for example, if you go to uh, um, on my uh, YouTube channel, I do a lot of different problems, but my main course, I'll just give it to you real quick, and I'll list uh, the link in the videos: GED Math Lessons. Dot com. Okay. Um, this is my free uh, GED math course, but in there I'm, I'm doing a lot of problems. So you want to understand the process and more importantly, you want to copy. You want to copy the way I do math. Okay. So like, all right, I'm, you know, even if you don't understand exactly what I'm doing, copy the steps until you understand each step. Once you have that down, it's like a little computer program that you have for particular problems, okay? <clears throat> and for the GED, you know, there's not, you don't have to learn everything, but there are core kind of topics, core skills that you're going to have to get uh, really good at. But if you just focus on, you know, really being neat and organized, showing your work, Okay, showing like each step and the way you know if you're doing it, if you're showing work correctly, if you feel like, oh, am I showing too much work? Am I showing, you know, uh, uh, not enough work is to understand the correct process and kind of copy from um, a, a teacher that, you know, is demonstrating these problems correctly. That's what teachers, good teachers do. They show students how to do problems right. You know, they don't show off in class on a chalkboard, you know, doing the problems and be like, oh, look at me. I'm so great at math. They're doing it for a reason. They're doing it to show you and explain each step so you can understand the process because math is, it's nothing but um, a recipe, okay, for a lot of things. It's a kind of a, you know, cookbook. So if you can, you know, open up a cookbook and read the cookbook, you know, you know, a cookbook's not going to be like, hey, we're going to make a lasagna or whatever the case is, right? And then they're going to show you a picture of lasagna and then and they say, okay, this takes 30 minutes <laughs> or whatever the case is. You're like, great, I see the picture. I don't really know what to do. You know, you have to break it down. Okay, same thing with math. Math is a lot of this is kind of you can think of it as a, as a um, recipes. All right. So anyways. If you focus on this, I guarantee you're going to, uh, it's going to really help you uh, move in the right direction. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you're studying for the GED, I'll leave the link in the description uh, of this video, gedmathlessons.com. I invite you over to my free GED math course. Been very successful for a lot of folks as well. Uh, hope to see you. Good luck.